Hi everybody, this is Kaylee here. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is at the request of Candace. Um, she emailed me recently and asked me if I could make a video about how to um, shoot with a Pentax 645N. Um, and I'm also going to take you along and show you a little bit about how I shoot film in general. This is my complete film setup for a session or for portrait time during a wedding day. I'm going to also teach you a little bit about how to um, meter and shoot with your Pentax. So, let's go. Okay, so here I have my Pentax 645M. I'm not going to do a comprehensive rundown of every single button and function on this camera just because there are already a few other videos out there like that um, from Matt Day and from a few other people and I'll link all those videos down below if you're interested in seeing every in and out and function and button of this camera. Um, but today I'm only going to walk you through the three settings and the three functions that I use the most when I'm shooting um, my Pentax 645M. So the three functions that I use the most, as with any photographer, are going to be your ISO, your shutter speed, and your aperture. So um, aperture and shutter speed are pretty easy. Aperture is found, or at least adjusted, by your ring on your actual lens. So I'm going to turn this towards you so that you can see it. But here you have your, um, your ring around your, your lens, and that's how you adjust your aperture. So I usually keep it at 2.8. Um, that is as far this way as your lens will go. So if you're holding your camera um, and you're adjusting um, as far my left, your right, as far as that lens will go to my left um, is the lowest aperture that you can choose, which is 2.8 on this camera. Works for me. I'm happy with it. And then your shutter speed is going to be um, your right dial on the top of your camera right here. Um, it actually is um, has a little push button that makes it a little bit easier to um, change but you can you know, change it uh, without pushing that little center button. I just think it goes smoother. It's just a mental thing. I think it goes smoother whenever you uh, press that middle button. So um, they have shutter speeds all the way from um, four seconds all the way up to a thousand seconds and of course auto and then a few more options but um, that's where you're going to set your shutter speed. It's really easy, it's really intuitive. Um, now for your ISO. So your ISO is going to be found um, on your little LED screen right here, but changing it is a little bit of a different matter. So if you have your Pentax 645 in with you, I need you to look um, on your left dial where your exposure compensation is. Um, right above it is going to be a little black switch and you're going to use your finger to press it in and activate it. You'll know that you're pressing the right switch because down beneath your exposure compensation dial is going to be another switch that whenever you press the top switch it's actually connected to that bottom switch and it's going to point to ISO and there's going to be a little orange dot that's going to be exposed. So you're going to actually need to do that with your left thumb. I do it with my left thumb or your left finger whatever um, but the trick is is that it's a two-hand job because whenever you press that ISO lever um, above your left dial you're gonna need to keep it activated and pressed in in order to change your ISO so with your left hand you're going to go ahead and push that in and then all you do is use your arrows right next to your LED screen right here to change your ISO up and down and once you've got it adjusted the way you want you will let go and that's it okay so that's it. Now let's go outside and let me show you how to set all of my settings on the spot. Take a light meter reading and actually switch that process. Take a light meter reading, get my settings set on the spot, and then um, just taking a quick image. So let's hop outside. First, we're going to start with how to uh, meter and shoot. So metering and shooting is actually surprisingly really, really easy. Um, I have my complete film set up here today. I have my Pentax. 645 in on my right because I'm right-handed and this is what I primarily use for the majority um, of a wedding day or completely for a portrait session. On my left I have my 35 millimeter film camera which I use a lot on a wedding day and a lot on a portrait session. I usually have it mounted with a 50 1.2 L-series lens from Canon but that's currently what you're seeing me through right now um, but that's what I normally have on this camera and this is great for wide open portraits at least the 50 millimeter is great for wide open portraits with creamy bokeh um, that I just I love so very much. So um, once I have my cameras loaded with medium format film and 35 millimeter film, my first thing that I'm going to do is consider what my ISO is going to be. 
I primarily shoot Portra 400 and I keep it at box speed, but I know a lot of people like to rate it differently. Some like to cut the film, the film speed in half for a brighter, more airy look, and they rate both their Portra 400s at 200 ISO. Um, I don't like to do that. I personally like to keep it at 400 ISO. Once I have my film loaded and ready to go, my ISO is set on both of my cameras. Next comes the easy part. So, let's say you have your client set up in front of you, ready to go in the location of your choice and in the pose of your choice. You're going to have your light meter on and also set to the ISO that you want um, that's also in your camera. So make sure that your ISO is synced between your uh, light meter and both of your cameras. So you're facing your clients with your camera ready to go and you're going to take your light meter and hold it out in front of you, preferably around the under upper chest area and underneath their chin so that you can expose for the shadows. Those are the darker parts of the image that we want to be well lit and well exposed so that we don't have dark shadows under the chin and dark shadows under the eyes. So. You're going to hold it out in front of you just like this. Some people like to point it downward because our bulb is exposed to less light when it's pointed downward and so that makes for a, um, a higher exposed image or a lighter and brighter exposed image. But if you want to keep it normal, just point it out straight towards you. Okay. So once you have your light mirror positioned and ready, you're going to take a reading by pressing the button on the side and you're going to read your light meter and see what it tells you. My light meter right now is saying that I am at um, aperture 2.8, ISO is fine because that's where I set it at, and then my shutter speed is 500. So my aperture ring is on the lens, and I'm going to turn all the way to the left, and it will give me an aperture of 2.8, and then my shutter speed is the right dial on the top of your Pentax. So I'm going to adjust that to 500, and then you will compose, focus, and shoot like this. And that's it. Same thing with your 35 millimeter. You will take a reading, read what it tells you. I'm at 2.8 at 500, 1 500th of a second, of course. Compose and focus and your shot is good. And that's it. Thank you for joining me.